Hey y'all, good Sunday, good Sunday afternoon. It is afternoon. Um, you know, I'm usually up on this time thing, but I forgot. I did not know it was last night. So that kind of threw me off this morning, but it's all good, okay? Today what I'm making, um, I got a pork roast in the oven. Y'all have seen me fix a pork roast, so I got it together. I put it in the oven. Okay, that's a three-hour deal. Um, have about an hour and a half left on it. I'm also making some. Let's take a look here. I've already started prepping the rest of my food. I've got some cabbage here that I've already cut up. Okay, I'm going to steam that cabbage. I have some fresh string beans. Yes, I only have one, one bag, but it's enough because we have cabbage. And in those string beans, I'm going to be adding some carrots. Now, I had some carrots in there a couple of weeks. I needed to use them. And that's the best way to do it is put them in there with the string beans because they will eat them. Okay. And I'm also making some smothered chicken wings. All right. I'm getting ready to get started on those. And I'm probably going to cut up some uh, can uh, sweet potatoes for candy yams. Okay. And some rice and cornbread. That would be our meal for today so let's get started on these chicken wings all right y'all i'm back we're getting ready to fry this chicken so that we can smother it um let's see i've got my green beans and carrots on i want to show those to you see those green beans and carrots aren't they beautiful yes they'll be done soon okay they will be done soon. I've got my sweet potatoes here on the back for my candy yams. And let me show you what I'm frying my chicken in. My grease is getting hot. My Hooters flour or breading is what they call it, okay? And I didn't have much. So what I did was with what I had, I took and I added some just regular uh, flour in here. I think it was self-rising, but it doesn't matter, okay? So I'm going to take my chicken wings showed those to you all earlier and I'm going to drop them into this flour and then into the grease. I'm getting gloves y'all. My, my oil is getting hot. I hear it. It's ready. We don't want it to get too hot because we don't want it to burn up our chicken when, when we drop it in there. All right, so I'm turning it down just a little bit and I'm gonna test it too. It's ready, so let's get our chicken in the bag. Okay, and these are pretty much the small wings, which I like. All right, Grease, all right. Screaming, y'all. I'm going to fold my chicken wings, and I've done this before, and I know you've seen it done. Just take and tuck that little tip of it right in the back. Okay, let's see what this grease is doing. It ain't all that hot. It's doing all that screaming. All of that screaming. And I'm not going to cook this chicken fast. I'm just folding my wings, y'all. And I'm gonna drop them in that grease. That grease is just not hot enough for me, so we're gonna wait just a second. Put some more wings in here and shake them up. Chicken wings are my favorite part of the chicken. I don't fold them until I flour them so I can make sure I get that flour in the cracks and the crevices. Okay. Let's go ahead on and see what we're doing here. There we go. Turn it up now just a smidgen. This 
one doesn't look like it's going to stay together here. Some are bigger than others. I know we're not going to get them all in there at one time. It's all right. y'all cooking today on Sunday when the day is beautiful like it is here today you kind of want to be out in it and not in the kitchen cooking right okay I think that'll do it for now put the rest of these in my flour Okay, there's one that popped up. All right, y'all, I'm going to let these fry. I'm going to turn them up just a smidgen here, and I'll be back when it's time to turn them over. All right, y'all, see I've changed um, the pan. I put it on the, on the bigger eye because that other eye was just too small. I don't know why I try to put big pots on small eyes. It's just that with this big eye, I got to really be careful with it. It's really hot. So what I'm doing now is I'm flipping them over. Look at these wings. How beautiful they are. Look at them. Some of the tips popped up and that's okay. I thought I laid them down. All right, so we're going to continue to let these fry just a few more minutes because remember, we're going to smother them, right? And at this point, I'm going to put a lid on it. I'm going to put a lid on them. I got them right below a medium on this eye. All right. All right, y'all, it's only been a couple of minutes. We're going to pull these out. I'm going to pull this chicken out, and we're going to put the rest of it in. Okay, look at that beautiful chicken. Mmm. -hmm. Calvin. Beautiful chicken, y'all. Yes, it is. Mmm. Let's make sure where this stood up. Yeah, they're fine. They are fine. All right, y'all. I'm going to put the rest of my ch chicken in. All right, y'all. This second batch is ready to flip over. Let's turn them over. I got these cooking just a little bit lower. Under a medium. Okay, I'm going to give them a few minutes on this side and then we will start making our gravy. Simple gravy today, just a simple gravy. All right. All right, y'all, we're getting ready to take the last of our chicken out so we can make our gravy. Let's get them out. Look at that. Beautiful chicken. Still chopped fall. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of this grease off of here and we'll come back and make that gravy. All right, y'all, we're back on this gravy. I have a piece of onion here that I'm cutting up in it. Now you can see I poured off most of that grease. I left a little bit in here for our gravy. I even left some of the crumbs in here. 
because that doesn't do anything but add flavor to your gravy. All right. Stir them around a little bit. We need to get some flour in here. I'm scraping down these crumbs here, y'all. I want it in my gravy. Get some flour so while the, the onions are doing its thing, the flour can be browning. Okay, let's put about two good tablespoons in there. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a stir. And I kept some of the oil. I, I, I've got all of the oil that, that I pulled off of here. So if I need to add any, if you put too much flour, you can always add back in a little bit of oil, okay? This seems to be working for me. We want that flour to brown up a little bit. Now, what else I'm going to put in here? Uh, just for a little added flavor, I have some golden onion soup mix. Two packs come in a box. This is one pack. I've used half of it. Just half. Okay, I'm going to use half. And I put it in some water. All right, put it in some water. Mix it up. And this is going to go into the gravy. Just to give it a little extra something. A lot of times I like to put garlic in my gravy. Not doing that. See how that's cooking? Looking good. It's looking good. I'm going to get a little color to it, a little bit more color to it, okay? My pork roast, I've already put my mustard and my hot sauce on it. It's in its last 30 minutes, the string beans and carrots are done. Candy yams in the oven. Only thing I need to do now is steam that cabbage, and it, it doesn't take long. And make some rice, y'all, and dinner will be done. Okay, that's going to be gorgeous. So let's go ahead and add this Lipton golden onion soup mix in here. And that's not going to be enough liquid. I already know that. But you make your gravy as thick or as thin as you want to. See how thick that is? So we know we need to add some more water. Oh, y'all, this is going to be a good gravy here. Okay, let's add some water. And you just add it until you get it to the consistency that you want your gravy. Okay, I'm going to put some black pepper in here. And I think I'm going to pass on, well, I'll put a pinch of salt. I will. I'll put a pinch. All right, that's still a little bit too thick, y'all. All right. Turn it up. Let it come up to a little simmer. Salt that you need. Pinch. Had to give up one of the wings, y'all. Had to give up one of the wings. He's in here for a wing. Okay, pepper. And we'll just let it come up and do its thing. Still looks just a wee bit thick, but I'm going to let it come up and see how it looks then, okay? It's going to be a gorgeous crepe gravy, so I'm going to let this go for a minute or so. All right, y'all. This has come up to a boil. Look at that beautiful gravy. 
And I hate to say it's not dark enough for me. It's not. But you know what? I think I'll let it go as it is. <laughs> That's hard for me, y'all. Alright, so I'm just going to let this simmer just a little bit. And then we're going to add our chicken. I like for my gravy to kind of come together before I put my meat in it. Isn't that gorgeous, y'all? Okay. We will add our chicken in there. You want it darker? No. Oh. <laughs> That's just me. Oh, y'all. Mm-hmm. Putting that chicken back in there. Smothered chicken, y'all. put the lid on it. I know I got one here left. I'm going to put the lid on it and let it cook just for a few minutes. All right, y'all. I want to show you that smothered chicken. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. So we have our smothered chicken. I'm waiting on the rest of the meal to get ready. It will not be long and we'll come back and make a plate. All right. All right, y'all, I'm back. Before I fix that plate, I wanted to show you my entire dinner that I have here. Only thing that we're waiting on right now is our cornbread. Everything else is done. This is my cabbage, okay? And I know I didn't show a whole lot of how I prepared my meal, but y'all have seen me cook this stuff before, okay? I have a pot of rice back here, yes. And this is my roast, my Boston butt pork roast mm hmm y'all you know I cover it with mustard and hot sauce okay the last 30 minutes of the cooking time you've seen my carrots and my string beans all right look at those gorgeous yes they're gonna enjoy those and you've also seen the chicken okay you've seen that beautiful smothered chicken yes and then we have of course some candy yams okay i'm waiting on the cornbread y'all hey y'all here we are here we are another sunday y'all remember my string beans and carrots mm-hmm look at them mm. my candied yam my pork roast mm-hmm that smothered chicken, the smothered chicken wings. Remember, I got some rice on my plate and I got that cabbage, y'all. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And yes, now a piece of cornbread. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we're going to enjoy this meal. I'm going to turn you away from the TV, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes, another Sunday meal. And it is wonderful. It is wonderful. That smothered chicken is the bomb. Yes. And the gravy is too, y'all. Y'all remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe on my videos. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. Y'all, mm. the vegetables are so good. Got those carrots in now. That's a way to use my carrots. I had them in here for, for a while. I thought if I put them in the string beans, they'll eat them. Uh-huh. Because they like carrots, right? Find a way to use everything in your fridge, y'all, when it's going bad. Okay? I will see y'all real soon on another video. Y'all have a good evening. Bye-bye.